Hi, I'm Mike. Today I'm here to talk about an industry change that is driven by the OEM manufacturers on the seals they use in their oil filters. This is a late cut style seal, seal we've used for many decades. This is a new P style seal. Let's get into the details. So we have a new gasket on the oil filters because the OE manufacturers want to protect their engines and they want to prevent leaks because today's engines have much tighter tolerances and they're using much lighter weight oil. So in today's filters, there are a difference in seals, okay? Filters work the same way, but they have a different seal. This is called the late cut seal. So basically it's flat on both sides. If you re remove the seal and you take, slice it, it would be flat on both sides. This seal works really well and the installation is different than what's called a P-style seal. P-style meaning I cut cross section, it makes the letter P. It's flat on one side, it looks like a no ring on top. This is a late cut style seal. The way to install this seal, which has been done for decades, is basically you screw on the seal. When the seal touches the mounting surface, you go three quarters to a full turn and you stop there. If you don't stop there, the seal will bake on there and it's gonna be very hard to remove that filter at the next oil change. The P-style seal is different. In this case, you want to completely compress the rounded part of the seal, and to do that, you have to screw in the filter all the way to where the housing touches the base. And that's the only way to solve it. Let me show you, it's easier to show you. So, I've got a mounting plate here. I've got a cutaway filter to show where the seal's gonna be. I'm gonna oil my seal real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna mount it on. But now I'm gonna go way past three quarters of a turn. You can see from the grease mark there or the oil mark that the round part of my seal is completely flat and you can see my can is almost touching the plate. And that's the seal you want to protect the system. So this is the proper way to install this filter. You wanna make sure the seal is completely compressed and you'll know this when the can is touching the body. That will ensure that you're not gonna have a leak in the system. The Asian cars, Subaru, Hyundai, they've gone to these type seals because it protects their engine. So we manufacture the same seals to protect our customers' engines. Let's go over some quick tech tips. One, make sure you have the proper tools for the installation. Then remove the old filter. Two, fill up the filter and do not forget to lubricate the gasket with a small amount of clean oil. This will ensure the gasket does not bind when it meets the mating surface on the oil filter housing. Three, clean the mating surface of any debris and install the oil filter by spinning it onto the oil filter housing stud, just as you would any spin-on filter. Four, unlike common spin-on oil filters with late cut gaskets, a spin-on oil filter with a P-style gasket must be tightened until the metal canister appears to be touching the mating surface on the oil filter housing. And most important, do not back it off once it is tightened. Let's wrap it up. If you're installing an oil filter with a P-style seal, first, make sure you have the right tool for the installation. And remember, this is critical. It needs to be torqued all the way to where the can touches the engine. This will prevent any future leaks. We appreciate your time, and again, thanks for watching.